Welcome back to Ask Allison. Here's today's question. I had a new client who had a full session and did not pay at the end, and saying that she didn't know she had to pay right after the session, which is clearly spelled out multiple times in my paperwork that she signed two weeks prior. I guess I learned my lesson in asking for payment at the beginning of session. What do you do? So I'd like to thank Therapy Notes first for sponsoring us, which as you'll see, can actually take some of the problem out of this. Um, so I've done it at the beginning of session. I've done it at the end of session at various times in my practice. I would suggest a practice management system that stores their credit card information. Uh, then you can have that as a part of their paperwork and you can charge at some point the day of the session. I also make sure, like, I also wanna make sure that you're talking about this um, and your fee in the initial phone call or email. So if this person just assumed they would use insurance, for example, um, even if they signed the paperwork, because like 2% of humans actually read that, um, then I can imagine an ask for more money than a copay would elicit an, oh, I didn't know, I don't have that with me. So here's the deal. We all learn lessons the hard way. We need uh, to learn our own boundaries in business somehow. And the fact that you're learning this the hard way is an opportunity for you to assess your boundaries. So like, if you'd ask for payment at the beginning of session and this person was like, oh, wait, I don't have it, would you have still seen them or would you have rescheduled them? Uh, what about an ongoing client? Would you make the same choice for an ongoing client? So I'm not saying either choice is right or wrong, honestly, like, it just depends on you and your preferences and your practice. But I wanna make sure you're making these choices intentionally and not from a reactive place. Like I want you to have thought through this before, all of you, so that if a intake person comes in and you ask for payment at the beginning and they're like, oh, I don't have it. You don't say, oh, that's okay, no big deal. If the policy you want to have is, well, unfortunately we're gonna to have to reschedule. So I just want you guys to be intentional about your choices, essentially. Um, and know that no matter how smart you are about this stuff, you're gonna end up learning something the hard way. I think we all do. We end up having these conversations in the abundance party all the time. And one person will learn something the hard way and it will save the whole rest of the crew from learning that exact thing the hard way, but it's not gonna save everybody from everything. So. Yeah, if you need a cohort of people who are making some mistakes with you, come on over to the Abundance Party. We're ironing out most of those mistakes pretty much all the time. And I think that if I had had that resource when I was starting out, woo, it would have saved me a lot of heartache. So um, that's over at AbundanceParty.com. If you guys have questions for Ask Allison, then please DM me. I'm on Instagram at Abundance underscore practice underscore building. I will talk with you guys later.